Yeah, so awesome weekend at NAM. This is uh, Friday morning when I got there. Um, a group of people, I see Philip McKnight and Lawrence Petros, and Stephanie and Eric there in the blue shirt. They own a yo yo company and they are giving yo yos to some famous YouTubers and stuff. And McKnight gave me a yo yo. So for some stupid reason, I'm like, you know, I'm going to take my yo yo with me. When I showed up there at NAM, the, the first thing I took my camera out and I filmed them playing with their yo-yo and then I saw noodles like from the offspring like five minutes later and I'm like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this guy to uh, play with the yo-yo and it's everything is so loud there everything is so loud when you're at NAM you can hardly hear anything so to make a traditional video where you talk about a guitar talk about you know what it's made out of and components and sound it's it's almost impossible because there's 30 40 thousand people walking around and uh, yeah it's tough to do so I've said you know what as soon as I got you noodles to play with that yo-yo I'm I said you know I'm just gonna goof around for two days and make a yo-yo video so that's where we're at I did play this um, court bass right here these things play nice really nice yeah really nice you run into youtubers all over the place when you're out there and some of these big youtubers a lot of subscribers they're very good at what they do he gets to interview John Petrucci and um, yeah super cool great guitarist dream theater they're in the Ernie Ball booth right now and um, I'm sure they're having a blast. I'm sure Tyler's having the time of his life. Um, while I was in there though, I see those volume pedals that are just right there behind those guys. And they have come a long way in um, making these volume pedals that have all this lighting, LED lighting, they're touch sensitive. And um, they got built-in tuners. And uh, Ernie Ball has come a long way in as far as making these volume pedals oh and it's just crazy the people that you run into you see a group of people standing around you 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 say you look over the heads of the group of people or you and you see people like um frank from anthrax the big four thrash bands in the world anthrax is in the big four and uh there he is holding his ltd esp bass and um Ernie Baugh, this is some scenes of uh, me back in the Ernie Baugh booth and I'm talking to Joey, who is my Ernie Baugh rep, and, um, and uh, they got new strings coming out. So you would think, you know, the pink pack of nines, the super slinkies, the regular slinkies. Now they got burly slinky. And um, they're always innovating. Ultra slinky, so yeah, Ernie Ball, those guys are great. They make great strings, great products, great cables. And when it comes to the Music Man, John Petrucci model guitars, and all those great guitars that they make, really good stuff. So, uh, yeah, doing my, uh, again, you'd never know who you're going to run into. Here's Billy Sheehan. In my opinion, probably one of the best bass players, probably top 10 bass players in the world right now. Billy Sheehan from Mr. Big. Um, I actually saw Talis back in 1980. I'm going to say 81, 82. Talis opened up for Ingve Malmsteen, and I was, wow, that Billy Sheehan guy is really good. And then, you know, he ended up in the David Lee Roth band, did Shy Boy, did a lot of good stuff. And uh, there I am passing my yo-yo around. It was crazy. Um, these guys that participate in NAMM, these are the friendliest people. If you're one of these musicians and you don't like to give out your autograph, you don't want to um, talk to people, trust me, those people are not at NAMM. The people that... Go to these events, they are nice people. They will sit there and chat with you. And if you hand them something like a yo-yo or something so stupid, it, it 
in a lot of ways, I think it's a good distraction. And, uh, you know, we're all kids at heart. So here we are having a good old time, swinging a yo-yo around. What a great bass player and what a great guy. I know this girl. She's playing. At the, she was at the Ibanez booth. This is Jane. We hang out. We have a band together. I'm lucky enough to be this girl's bass player. And um, these Ibanez guitars that she's playing. Ibanez, um, great guitar company. And this girl can shred on those things. So, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun having her in the band. And I think we have a gig with the Iron Maidens coming up in September. But, uh, yeah, the way these uh, Ibanez guitars play, really nice stuff. That's one of those roasted maple necks. A little bit of whammy bar action right there. Yeah, she plays good. And um, crazy enough, man, you, you look at a big crowd of people, you peek your head over around the corner, you see who's there, and um, there's Michael Anthony sitting there being interviewed by CNN. Seems like a little strange kind of uh, person to interview uh, a musician, but uh, how cool is that to run into uh, Michael Anthony? I met him once back in 1984. I shook his hand. Um, going into the Hyatt Regency in downtown Phoenix after their 1984 show. And uh, he had a j bottle of Jack Daniels in one hand. And uh, he was walking in there. And uh, again, the people that participate in NAM, these musicians, these are, these are good people, man. You, you don't have to be shy or afraid to talk to these guys or ask them. Because that's the reason that they're there is because they're people people, you know. They like people. They'll hang out. They'll chat with you. And um, I grabbed my yo-yo and I said, I'm going to see if I can get Michael Anthony to do one of my stupid yo-yo tricks. And sure enough, as soon as he's done with this interview from CNN, I, I yelled, Michael, and, and uh, you'll see that coming up here in a second. Um, just a great guy. And um, those high harmony background vocals that he did with Van Halen and Chickenfoot and uh, and this guy is a legend this guy is an absolute legend so it was just tons of fun when you run into somebody like this yeah this cracks me up he just reached right out and grabbed that yo-yo like it was nothing And you know what? He, he came off like he's a real pro. He knows how to play with this yo-yo. He's asking me if it's a sleeper. So he knows all the tricks. I don't know anything about yo-yos. I think the older generation, you know, we played guitars. We worked on hot rods. We rode motorcycles around and we played with yo-yos. I don't know if the younger generation does that kind of stuff, but you know, I could be way wrong. Maybe the yo-yo world is huge. Look at all the flashes going off. So I was really happy to uh, see him participate in this and all those flashes going off with, with him. I'm, I'm hoping that someday I'll see a photo of, of Michael Anthony playing with this yo-yo somewhere because there is a lot of flashes going off right here. And I think even CNN cameras might still be rolling. <laughs> there you go. And here I am yelling how magical his singing is. Just magical. He's like, yeah, whatever, man, whatever. Oh, here we are. Rob Chapman, Chappers. So I met... Rob at the um, his event when he came to the Guitar Center event and uh, that was um, when was that November and I met him and uh, and just in that like three minutes I talked to him at the uh, Rob Chapman event in Phoenix he remembered my name and as I walked up to him he's like hey Zim how are you doing 
and again, and, and that blew my mind. And then there he is, uh, having fun, playing with the yo-yo. So again, great guy. And uh, his, I have the uh, Chapman ML3 Modern. And I want to do a video on it. I just really haven't gotten around to doing the video on it yet. But again, what a great guy. And then again, popular YouTubers, Jared Dines. This guy is hilarious. Uh, my favorite video that he put out was the one where he showed every type of drummer. And so he showed drum, drunk drummer. And then he showed drummer on meth drummer. And then he showed drummer, you know, it was, that's, he's just a funny guy. Got a lot of style. So yeah, this uh, is me just goofing around playing with this stupid yo-yo. And um, I, I had no idea I was gonna make a yo-yo video of all the dumb things to do. But um, anyhow, it was fun, and uh, I, I just had a riot when I went to NAMM. It was a blast. And uh, anyhow, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, there we go, man. Good times at NAMM. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time.